Well, good morning, everybody. A little sleepy here. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, very early Central California. Um, just got done moving another switch over to our new fiber. So went from this to, uh, I'm trying to find another, that's why I'm looking around. From that to this, 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 this fiber. So from OM1 to OM4, ah, oh gosh, it's early. Sorry, this is, a, this is a train wreck to begin with here. Um, today's video, or this week's video, I was going to talk about, uh, you guys saw this little link runner I was using in last week's video, and someone asked about it. This is, uh, this is the link runner I did on my, uh, I don't know, probably a year ago or so, said it's one of my favorite tools. Um, I like this. This is, a, this is a great little little gadget. You uh, can plug it in, and man, I hope that shows up. There we go. I think that'll show up. Plug it in, it'll start pulling the switch, and uh, it'll tell, get you some information in a minute here. Um, it's kind of nice because it'll tell you what the voltage is if you got PoE. Oh, you're up there. <laughs> If you got PoE enabled, it'll tell you what voltage it sees. It'll tell you whether the uh, everything's uh, right there wired up correctly. Okay, and there the information showed up, which I have to read. So it'll tell you what switch it's on, um, the model number of switch, the MAC address that it sees, and um, the VLANs it sees. Um, one of the limitations of this guy, oh, and the other thing it does is it'll send a, uh, an email back to, uh, to you saying what it found. Um, that's one type of test. You can do this other test. It's called an auto test. And it'll go through, do a lot of the same types of tests, but then it'll also go through and, and pull some, whatever servers you tell it to, to check. So I have ours set to check our... Um, our medical record servers. There it says it found them all. Let's see if I can expand that out. Yeah, so I have it go to set to check our gateway, our uh, Google, our medical record server, and all that. So that's that's this device. It's it's kind of cool. It's very cool. I, I like it. Um, but I got asked in a, the video last week to talk about the device I was using then. And this is the new one. We've got a new one of these guys. And uh, you see, it looks a little bit different. It's not, not as many buttons on the front. Um, the reason is this is all, you know, microchip based, whatever their PAL chip they have in there to do everything. This one's uh, Android based. So this is the Link Runner AT2000. This is a Link Runner G2, I assume is generation two. And uh, it'll do a lot of the same things. It's, it's touch, touch screen. So uh, let's see if you can see up there. Sorry, I'm squinting because I can't see. I'm hoping you guys can see that. But you can basically test a cable, a switch, or do, a, do an auto test like I just did. Um, I'm going to do a switch test and plug it in here. And we'll see what it starts doing here. So it's now, and you can't really see that. It's now detected the switch. It says it's a full duplex, one gig connection. And it is now pulling the switch to try to, sorry, you're over here. I'm trying to hold everything up here in front of my computer monitor this morning because my phone's acting up. So it's pulling the switch right now, and now uh, we're just waiting to see what it finds. There you go. So same type of info. Um, what I do like about this one that you can't see right there, and I, I'm not sure I'd want you to see it anyway, even if you could, is that so this guy will tell you what VLAN you are, you have untagged on that port. It won't show you tagged VLANs because it doesn't speak tagging. This one speaks tagging. So it'll show you every VLAN that's tagged on that port. 
I think up to like five, it'll show you the first five. Um, I think that's kind of a limitation on the software. It's probably an update coming that'll show you every VLAN on a given port. Um, so uh, that's that's really the only thing it does as far as the switch test above and beyond the old one. Um, auto test is pretty much the same. You know, it'll go out and check the different servers. It just presents everything in a different format. I'm having to turn it sideways because I think that's the only way you can see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, it's going out checking for uh, saying it got DHCP, it's got DNS servers, it's, it can see the gateway, it can see Microsoft, it can see Google, it can see Cerner. So there's that, that's pretty cool. One of the other cool things about this guy is being that it's, it's Android based, um, you can go to their app store. Uh, where is it? Right there, I guess. I hope that's the settings. I never go into their app store. There it is. App store. And you can download all kinds of different apps for it. Uh, any kind of Android app will run on it. Um, for instance, I've got uh, speed test on there. So we can do a, um, a speed test from wherever we are, which is kind of cool. The, this, this guy doesn't do that. So that's one thing that's kind of cool about that. Um, well, let's see what my internet speed is right now. Well, let's see. What's it going up to? Looks like we got 200 down and waiting, waiting, 160 up. So that's not too bad because we share this internet connection with the entire county. So you got that, you got uh, any other Android app you can possibly think of. You could just download to it and run it. Um, Spotify. <laughs> it's it's got a music jack, so you could you could listen to to music while you're debugging the network, I guess. Um, yeah, it's got a SD card slot. It's uh, volume controls right there. Got volume controls. It's got a um, USB uh, micro SD, and uh, and then it's got a management port over here, which I have never ever used. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, says it has a camera, but I've never really used it. What happens? What happens if I push that camera? Yeah, I don't think this one has a camera on it. Sure, allow. Next. Holy cow, it does have a camera. Look at that. Look, there's me. I never knew it was there. Well, we just learned something together. So you can you can use this to to do all kinds of documentation on your network. Um, there, I just took a picture. Now, how do I get out of here? Let's see. I don't know. See, there's no way to get out. What happens if I press that? It turns off. I have no idea how to get out of camera mode. That would appear to be a bug because all we can do is just take more pictures. <laughs> Look, here's me struggling to get out of camera mode. Okay, well, ah, there it is. Finally got it. There, it came back up. All right, so be careful about going into camera mode on this thing. Anyway, the point is you can download all kinds of Android apps and do all kinds of amazing things with it. Um, that being said, uh, I found that the battery life on this one, sorry, I keep looking down there. The battery life on this one doesn't come close to matching the battery life on this guy. I can go weeks without charging this one up. This one I have to charge up almost daily. So there you go. So I guess it's my two favorite tools, Link Runner AT2000, Link Runner G2 from NetAlley. And uh, they are not paying me to say any of this. I don't, 
I don't have any kind of business relationship with Net Alley. Um, and they're not cheap, um, but they're really handy. They're really handy to like pass off to the help desk guys. They say, hey, we're having a network problem out there. A network problem, you say? Well, here, grab this thing and I'll have them go out there and say, hey, plug it in. Tell, when it comes back, tell me what switch and what port. So they'll tell me and I'll go check the switch in the port and there's no problem. And then I'll tell them, okay, switch over and do that auto test. And that auto test is gonna test, test a bunch of things for me. It's gonna test whether DHCP is working because the, the meter, both meters are gonna get a, an IP address from DHCP. And then they're going to try to ping the gateway and then they're gonna try to ping DNS. And then they're gonna try to ping all the web servers that I set up in there or any server, it doesn't even have to be web. So it's gonna to try to go to Google. It's gonna to try to go to, um, well, that's, that's a good point. Let me show you. Let me turn this one back on. I think if I remember right, when I was setting this up, let's see, auto test configuration. Yeah. So in this config, man, I hope you can see that. You can kind of see it there. Well, I'm hoping you can see it there. When you set it up, you, you tell it what address you want it to go to and what port you want it to attempt. So uh, attempt, um, you know, port 80, port, port 443. Um, and I think we can do just a regular old Uh, yeah, so you can put ping in there. You can just give it the uh, whatever ping port it is because it's just asking for, you know, um, it's not asking for a protocol. It's just asking for what port number. So yeah, you can put anything in, you want in there. You can test any TCP port, any UDP port you want, which is kind of cool. So, um, so yeah, so I'll have them do that auto test and um, they don't even have to tell me if it was successful or not because I'll get an email. It, uh, let's see if I get an email. Let's see if I can show you one from an auto test that we just did. Um, there we go. Yeah, so here, let me share this real quick. Come back here and bear with me. Where are you? There you are. So you can see here, there's my link runner. And it gives, gives you all the, the info that you need. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to linger on our, <laughs> our internal IPs, but um, it's a 10 network. I mean, everybody has 10 networks. But uh, you can see I have it set up to go out to Google. I have it to go set to go to our, our uh, electronic medical records provider, um, the county. Um, so yeah, and it comes back and gives me all this info. So the help desk doesn't even need to provide it to me because I'm gonna get it emailed as soon as they run that auto test. So that's kind of cool. So stop reading my email. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, they're handy little devices. If uh, you can afford one, they're, they're great. Um, there's really not a whole lot you can do with it that you can't do a, with a laptop, aside from getting the, the switch port and uh, VLAN information. And there, there might be software programs that'll run on a laptop out there that will do that. I've just never, you know, I've never really looked into it. So if you know of any uh, software that'll run on a laptop that'll give you the same, similar, or even better information, put it in the comments below. I'd like to hear about it. Um, I always like learning new stuff. So um, yeah. So yeah, uh, that's about all that's going on. Satish is still here. I know it's somebody out there. It's his favorite new character. Uh, Satish is still here. He's still doing well. He's, um, like I said, I moved a switch over to the new fiber today uh, in, uh, in a medical area. He's gonna do it in an administrative area later today. Um, I've been doing, doing them with him you know, a few times. So uh, he's going to fly solo this time. So we'll see how uh, our young pilot does. So uh, we'll let you know. 
so anyway, that's uh, that's really all I got for this week, guys. Um, hope you like what you saw. If you did, hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell if you want to know when I do more of this stuff. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching and God bless. And stop.